If you're looking for highly educational market analysis, you're in the right place. You're in the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick, a top author on TradingView with over 190k reputation points. So without wasting any more time, let's jump straight onto the charts. In today's video, I want to speak about BTC USD. So what I will be doing is, as usual, providing a complete multi time frame, top down analysis. First, I will be covering the technical aspect, then we will go and see what we have from a on chain perspective. So basically to see how Bitcoins are moving on and off from exchanges. And by the end of the video, by using the combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for a potential move here on Bitcoin. Now, starting from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that the market has just tested a very strong level of previous monthly demand and support, which none of the market has tested again, is once again acting as support and demand, from which we can expect a potential rejection higher. What we must notice is that we do have some resistance around this zone, given by this red candle. So at the moment, we are kind of bounded in between this support and resistance. Dropping down on the weekly time frame, what do we have? Now here in the weekly, we can see how we have just broken above structure. In fact, what we know is that this area here was acting as very strong support, printing this green candle. The market then broke it to the downside, broke it back above, currently has just retested it and already started rejecting it to the upside. So basically what the market is trying to create here is an inverted head and shoulders. Dropping down on the daily time frame, what do we have? Now here in the daily, we can see how the market created a very strong impulse, then went for a correction exactly to this red candle, and from here has started this move to the upside. Now this is no surprise. In fact, I did make a full breakdown of BTC USD when the market was around this area, explaining all the reasons for which from here, we expected this rejection to the upside. And by the way, I will link this previous analysis in the description so you can go and check it out for more free education. Now, what we can notice at this point is that this red candle was a very strong level of previous supply and resistance, which is now turned support and demand. We also know that if you want to measure a correction, you have to take your Fibonacci of, on the impulse. And if we do that, if we take our Fibonacci from this low to this high, we can see how the market just retraced exactly to the 0 0.786. Fibonacci retracement taken on this daily impulse, which was a very strong resistance area here and is now strong support and demand. And that is obviously why the market has rejected it to the upside. Now, if we go and see what we have from an on-chain perspective, we can see how the amount of Bitcoins on exchanges has continued to drop quite aggressively. In fact, we can see how from this high, when the market started this correction, we can follow the price on the black line, the price has started the correction and the blue line, which is the amount of Bitcoins on exchanges has continued to drop significantly from the highs that we had around the correction that happened this summer. So we have extremely aggressive buying, possibly from institutions which are buying and moving Bitcoins away from exchanges. So everything is looking pretty bullish for a potential continuation to the upside. Now, Obviously, until we will remain below the previous high, we cannot be looking for any kind of continuation because we do know that the previous highs are resistance here from which we could see the market create a double top and reject to the downside for a deeper correction before the continuation. So it is very risky to be looking for a move to the upside from this resistance zone. However, what we know in the market is that if previous resistance gets broken to the upside, that previous resistance becomes support. So if we will have a successful break and close above this resistance, after the break on the retest of this previous resistance turn support, inside of here, 
what we will be doing with students is as usual being reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily combined with the on-chain data, those are the best time frames from a directional perspective. However, when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best time frames are the intraday time frames, so for our and lower. Therefore, if we will have a break on the retest inside of here, we will be monitoring price action with students from an intraday perspective waiting for the market to shift from an intraday bearish market as we will have to an intraday bullish market. And if the market will shift from an intraday bearish to bullish market and provide to us one of our valid entries at that point, we could be looking for this potential long with a good risk to reward and good probabilities at that point for the move to the upside and for the market to complete this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside and for the market to potentially provide and create a higher high. If you enjoyed the video, make sure that you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free analysis, education, and updates for all of you. You can also go and check out the mentorship program. The link is in the description. It's a very complete program. First, you learn all the rules of the strategies. Then you also get a daily market breakdown every day to see which pairs I'm looking for according to the rules of the strategies. And you also have the possibility to ask questions and get the answers the same day. So it's a very complete program. We're also currently running a special promotion. And to find out more, the link is in the description and I will see you on it.